Alan, this is a big moment for everyone concerned on Saturday away to Walsall. It's the club's first as a fan-owned club as well, first appearance in the first round proper. It's going to be a big day, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a massive day for the fans and the club. Um, and I hope everyone has a really good day and enjoys it. But unfortunately, the only we all enjoy it is if we win. That's the only <laughs> we all enjoy it. But hopefully everyone has a great day, behaves himself, looks, be responsible, make sure things are done properly and gets behind the lads on the pitch because that's the main thing. It's a big day for the players as well because some of them have been in the pro game before and they've dropped down into part-time into the National League North. It's, it's a big opportunity for them because they'll be in the shop window again. I think if you remember me remit when I come in that I was on about bringing young hungry players who want to get back into the pro game and this is the what their stage this is the opportunity now to show people that they're capable of getting back into the pro game I don't want to go down there and just make up the numbers we want to go down there and the lads don't want to they want to go down there and make sure that they give a really good application and show people what they're capable of there's 39 places between the two clubs it seems to me as if it doesn't, it doesn't really bother you going to play at a League 2 club. No, nah, phone book guns at the window, in all honesty. Like, people say, off oh, Walsall on a bad run, and we're on a good run, but the phone book goes out the window in, the, in cup games, unfortunately, and it, it's whoever turns up on a day, and sometimes it's that little bit of luck that you need. And obviously the way it's been going this week, we're hoping that uh, we'll get our luck on Saturday. And as I say, the lads are, are so excited for the game. I'm excited for the game, but it's been a really tough week this week. Yeah, you hinted there it's been a tough week. Do, do you agree that losing Tyrone O'Neill back to Millersbury is a big blow for Saturday? I think losing Tyrone in any team would be a blow, but when you've got someone like Stephen Thompson ready to take his place, I, how can you complain? A month ago I would have been fuming because we wouldn't have had anyone to come in with Tom O being injured. But we've got a kid there who scored 98 goals and I keep looking and I'm thinking, is this the moment for Tom O to get his next two goals? So... The FA Cup always comes up with great stories and this could be one for him. Uh, Liam Connell, is there any chance of him coming back this after? I'm still working. I haven't stopped on it. I've uh, been speaking to the board and been speaking to South Shields and we're working extremely hard on it. I've got my fingers crossed, got everything crossed. But if it doesn't happen, we've got Chris. But let's be honest, we're working extremely hard on Liam. I think he'll give the fans a massive boost if we can get that over the line. Um, but let's just hope that we can get it, get it done. But as I say, it's, it's not far away. Walsall themselves aren't doing too well in League Two. They've, uh, they haven't uh, tasted success for quite a while. Does that very fact encourage you? It, it would be if I was a player, certainly. You know, I would, we've got to make sure we concentrate on ourselves, forget about what them have done. If we can make it really difficult first 20, 25 minutes, I'm sure then we'll get the fans on their back. It will cause them all kinds of problems. So we've got to make sure that we're solid away from home and make sure we keep doing what we've done. We've only conceded, I think Liam's only conceded one goal So in the last few games he's been playing. So we're pretty confident that way, but we're playing another level here. But like I keep saying, we've got lads here who've just come from football league clubs and them know what to expect. So I'm not going there with any fear and it's not an arrogance at all. It's just, I know what I've got in that dressing room and I know what these lads are willing to give. We're going to take a small army, around about <laughs> 700 minimum fans there, uh, they can play a big part as well can't they? No, they're massive as I say, said at the start, we've just got to make sure them enjoy the day um, behave themselves is a big key thing look after the club's name and everything but get behind these lads Like this is what the club's wanted for a long time and we've got it but I don't want this to end and the fans don't want it to end and they support them could be that 12th man that gets over the line